Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me here today with a BMW M2, a car which I don't really feature that often on the channel and also a car which tends to go under the radar in terms of heavy modifications. This though is an exception because it's probably one of the quickest ones in the UK. From the outside, apart from the big wing, it does look pretty stock, but I assure you it is not running a hybrid turbo, direct port meth injection. It's been fully, fully done. Um, now the car has only recently been finished, so there are no uh, figures as such. There is actually a video coming soon on the channel after this one uh, of like a mega dyno day, which I'll be going to as well as this car. So hopefully we'll get some numbers in that. But in usual fashion, I'll introduce you to the owner. We'll go for a spin and see what this thing is like, because even though there are no official numbers, it's definitely gonna be pushing somewhere at least over 500 brake, which is going to be, well, ridiculous. <laughs> Okay, I'm joined now with Bruce, the owner of the car. Mate, it's, uh, from what you've told me off camera already, it's one hell of a car, yeah, it really is. Yeah, it's a pretty, uh, pretty fun little machine. <laughs> yeah, you haven't had it long actually, have you? No, just over a year, yeah. um, a year in December, basically. So mm -hmm. just trying to work our way and get things done to it as quick as possible. Yeah, definitely. So before we go uh, over what you've done to the car, it's probably quite fitting to speak about what you do yeah. <laughs> so uh so basically a water meth specialist uh we carry the brands and distribute the brands devil's own cooling mist pro meth talk bite basically if you need anything water meth um yeah give us a shout definitely I'll, I'll include all the details down in the description so obviously the car has well got obviously as well as the hybrid turbo which we'll go into yeah a full direct port injection uh, meth injection yeah um and yeah well it's probably the only one in the uk i reckon um I don't know if uh, M2, we've done a direct port, we've mm. supplied and done customers with M235Is, M135Is, yeah. other M55, M54s, S55s. Um, we haven't done an M2 and I don't know of any M2s running the direct port MEF. Obviously mm. there's ones out there probably running like fuel lit um, port, you know, port setups, but not how we've done it. Yeah, brilliant. So if you wouldn't mind just giving us uh Bit of a, a walkthrough of everything you've done, yeah, because um, there is a lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's a few bits. Um, so starting, obviously, you can see the direct port meth. We also run the charge pipe meth for the cooling. Um, we run a dual solenoid and dual fail safe setup, um, which is connected into the electronic wastegate. So should it detect any issues, it cuts boost um, um, to protect the engine. FTP um, catch can. Um, we run just a panel filter, pro ram panel filter. Um, on the front, we've got the VRSF race intercooler, VRSF decat, VRSF charge pipe. Um, yeah, and then obviously the, the main thing, the turbo, yeah. um, the hybrid turbo. Which is pretty special, because it's not just a standard one, is it? Yeah, <laughs> no, um, I did look into, originally, like I was saying to you, I, you know, I wanted the Pure um, 800. It wasn't available at the time for the M55. We work quite closely with Turbo Dynamics. Um, Matt down there, I had a chat with him and sort of said what I was looking to do. Um, so he, we came up with a spec of basically putting a Garrett core into the um, standard turbo um, to, to make our own hybrid, basically. Fair play, and like you said in the intro, um, we don't have any numbers yet, we no, will do soon. Yet. We're going to a dyno day uh, actually next weekend. Yep. Um, so that should be interesting to get some, some numbers. Yeah. We, we kind of have a bit of an idea about what it was yeah, made. Yeah, I mean, um, we, we dynoed it on the same dyno on the stock turbo um, with the setup, not using the direct port, just still with the charge pipe and a custom map. And she did 453. Mm -hmm. um, now we've got obviously the turbo, the intake, the GFB. Um, we also got, I forgot to mention, it's got the um, B58TU fuel pump on okay. it as well. Yep. Um, it's only doing a little, we're still only using a stage two plus off the shelf map, um, which is one and a half PSI extra boost than the, um, the custom map for the stock turbo um, and an extra two degrees of timing at the moment. I'd like to say it's got to be somewhere over 500. How yeah. much over 500? I don't know. Um, better be interesting to see. We're currently working with um, Kerry Jordan at the moment on the custom maps, um, which 
they probably won't be finished by the dyno next um, next weekend, but it'd be nice to just get some figures for yeah. the off-the-shelf maps. Yeah, true, very true. Um, just to see what's achievable yeah. on quick quick setups. And you've got quite a big plan for the car as a whole in terms of yeah, stripping I mean, it out. And... Yeah, so my background is I've done a lot of time attack, um, especially in Europe, um, the Dutch, the German. We've been to Norway, to Gatbill. Um, so I've got an R33 Skyline that we use for that. I'm probably going to retire it to a certain degree and not use it as much. Um, and yeah, probably start to use, you know, this little toy basically. Yeah. So fair play. Well, that'll be uh, cool to see how it kind of yeah. progresses really. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking forward to definitely. Well, with a, with a car with this much power all stripped out and race perhaps it'll be. Yeah, it's going to be quite a formidable little um, little tool, basically. Yeah. It's a really good little track tool. Yeah, definitely. Anyway, I think that, that's pretty much everything. I mean, there's a couple of little bits, like uh, aesthetic things like canards yeah. and the big old wing at the back. Yeah. Um, yeah. But that's uh, that's the juicy stuff, yeah. which is, uh, <laughs> makes it unique. So I think yeah. what we'll do, we'll start it up and uh, go for a quick spin. Yeah, cool. Sounds good. good to me. Seats. Yeah. It's proper loud. It's proper loud. <laughs> <laughs> said we don't know any figures at the moment Aye. hopefully we will do soon yeah but is it is fully set up it, it's gonna push some decent numbers yeah i think sure. once the um, custom tune's done because at the moment the boost is relatively tame on the ots map at only 20 psi yeah um i think once the customs map done up round hopefully somewhere at least sort of 25, 26 psi. Yeah. Um, it's a lot more boost. Mm. Um, should make some really strong numbers. Definitely, yeah. And like we said briefly as well, you're planning to completely strip out, almost make it into a bit of a. Yeah, I, I, track I'm car. trying to find that balance between, you know, I've got the Skyline, which is the out and out race car. Mm. So I want to turn this into sort of GTS sort of plus. So, you know, still can use it on the road, still have the air con, still be yeah. fairly comfortable. Um, <laughs> as comfortable as can be mm. but at the same time you know a real good little track weapon basically yeah yeah so buckets harnesses buckets harnesses the usual sort of roll cage uh, <sighs> maybe a half cage <laughs> i don't know i'm torn on the whole yeah i've always been very much like i've done with the skyline that if i'm gonna put a cage in it i'll go the whole hog it'd be a yeah. weld in yeah. you know door bars everything do a proper yeah. Yeah. I think a lot will depend on regulations if I start racing it. True. That Actually, will... you want to compete it like fully. Yeah. So if I start competing in time attack, potentially what category I enter will dictate how and where I go with the car. Yeah. Yeah. And that'll be awesome. Yeah. That'll be very, very cool. Because I mean, these M2s, I've said it in previous videos, it's the perfect kind of setup. Because I mean, personally, I think the M3s and M4s, even though they are great cars, yeah, they're yeah. big. Yeah, they are big and they are heavy. Yeah. Um, you know, me personally, I love the M3. I think the M3s, mm. I prefer the M3 over the M4, but yeah, yeah they're, you know, they're big cars and that mm. was what steered me to the M2 originally, that I had the Skyline, I had the big car. I wanted that smaller, nimble, yeah. you know, 
pocket rocket science, you know, so to Doesn't speak. It? You know, yeah. don't get me wrong, the M2 is no, but by no means a tiny car. No. <laughs> but, you know, it's as small as you're going to get on the M sort of M side of things. True, yeah. It's just a nice setup car. Out the box, they're just brilliant little yeah, car. Yeah. Out the box. Yeah. Which then gives you that great, you know, base to, to work from. Exactly, exactly that. And in terms of other things you've done to it, because well, I think we kind of just mainly yeah. <laughs> focused on what's under the bonnet. Um, the big wing. Yeah. But that's, uh, I like it. Yeah, I really like yeah it's it. a bit different, you know. I understand it's not everybody's taste. A lot of people like just the little ducktail spoilers and stuff like that. But, you know, because we're going on track and we're going to, you know, we're using the car properly. Yeah. It needs a proper wing. So yeah. I'd looked around and the uh, Pinnacle GT4 wing seemed to be, yeah. the, you know, the way to go. And it does look cool in the in the rear view mirror. Yeah. And you've got the little lip spoiler as well. Yeah, obviously <laughs> the car when I brought it already had the carbon lip spoiler on it. And um, I was humming and hawing on whether to take it off. And, you know, sort of when we were sort of test fitting and looking, it just seemed to... It looks very much like a gurney flap, so it just sort of suits the spoiler, yeah, basically. Yeah. And you're running lowering springs at the moment. Yeah, so when we bought the car originally, um, it came with, I believe it's got the IBAC um, lowering yeah. springs already on it. It's got the spacers. Um, you know, the next thing will be to change the wheels so that we can start running the slicks and triple eights and you know, yeah. those sort of tyres along. Yeah keep these um, the standard OEM wheels for winter and you know mm. some of the daily more daily driving well I quite like it from the outside because it doesn't look like what it is pushing no if that makes sense yeah <laughs> it's yeah. Uh, very much a, a wolf in sheep's clothing it's, it's caught quite a few quite a few people yeah because it's only the wing really yeah yeah that kind of gives it away yeah yeah and then you probably noticed the big meth tank at the back <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's huge yeah, three, it's our three gallon race tank, so yeah. it's quite nice. It's all um, baffled and sumped, so even when you run low on fluid, you're not going to oh, have to worry about, you know, pick up, especially out yeah. on circuit. Mm. And it hides the pump away, so we do a couple of different options on the uh, race yeah. tanks. <laughs> Yeah, it is. It's fun. <laughs> I can only imagine what this thing's like out on track. It's just so well balanced. It's so easy to drive on the limit. Yeah, yeah. To just dance it around the track. And you've, well, it's, it's had a lot of track time, obviously. Yeah, and Third the previous degree. owner before me had just tracked it the whole oh, really? time. Yeah, yeah, he even had the GoPro like mounting it. So I've just oh, left wicked. it in there. Yeah. Um, he left it in it. He changed it for, um, uh, I was speaking to the dealer where I brought it from and he changed it to a Porsche. He'd gone to a oh, Cayman really? GT4, nice. I think it was. That's a solid upgrade from one of these. Solid upgrade. So I spy the draggy. Yeah, yeah. You've got you've got some times, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so, maybe with the V-Box you were saying. Yeah, but. so we, I've got a draggy and a V-Box. Yeah. Um, as I've mentioned earlier, I, I'd lost, I've lost quite a few draggies. <laughs> I don't know how I keep doing it. <laughs> um, so I've got a V-Box as well, which obviously being a bit bigger is a bit harder to lose. So <laughs> Very true. Um, <laughs> Uh, 6.7 at the moment on the OTS map um, yeah. uh, on the 100 to 200 um, and I can't remember the 60 to 100 time but it, it was pretty quick as well yeah, it was yeah. another impressive time was that with in its current state that, that uh, times yes yeah, so it's in its current state just yeah. on the OTS map not on the custom maps that we're currently doing revisions on at the moment okay yeah. um, so no direct ports just the charge pipe meth um, normal pump fuel um, That's quick yeah, Very so um, I've started, I've just, uh, two weeks ago, I fitted a new fuel lit um, ethanol analyzer. Mm -hmm. So I've started running methanol in the fuel tank as well. So, oh, wow. Um, yeah, we run normally between sort of a 20 or 30% methanol mix in the tank yeah. as well. And again, it's making a noticeable difference. I just haven't had a chance, again, we just work and family life. I've not had a chance to re-100 to 200 it to see what improvement yeah. that's made. Yeah. <laughs> Is just so just relentless yeah and considering it's low boost and timing <laughs> it's unbelievable <laughs> poxy you know in my opinion it's low but yeah 20 psi boost and that's yeah. it anyway mate that's uh yeah i, I do kind of want an m2 now <laughs> <laughs> to be fair um now this isn't going to be all for this car because we've got to get the uh the dyno day done hopefully we'll get some numbers yeah, yeah, for yeah. that um so i'll probably uh 
<laughs> downshift. <laughs> so we'll uh, we'll catch up in a, another video. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I think for now that's going to wrap things up. Unbelievable car, man. Unbelievable car. And uh, if you can hear me at the moment, I'll leave all of Bruce's details down in the description down below. And uh, yeah, anyway, that's going to wrap things up for me. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures. Still to come.